Oh, thanks for the save, but easy on the chomping. <laughs> <laughs> now the treasure is mine! I stole the map. Isn't the treasure mine? A share's yours since you say you're a pirate, but mine's the biggest! <laughs> Why is a share his when he might not be a real pirate? He'll be getting an eeny tay iny tay air shake at it. A teeny tiny share! What you wanna be, yeah. Make your move, come on and make your move. Dinosaur King is your destiny, yeah. Make your move, come on and make your move. Control the cards right in your hands. Jurassic Giants at your command. D, -d, 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 D team. Watch out, here we go. Prehistoric dinosaurs aren't extinct anymore. See them fight, hear a roar. Watch out, cause they're right next door. The past is in the present. Time's been twisted upside down. These fossils are colossal. Only one can wear the crown. Dinosaur King is what you want to be, yeah. Make your move, come on and make your move. Dinosaur King is your destiny, yeah. Make your move, come on and make your move. Extreme Map Quest! It's useless. All this half of the map does is tell us which islands the treasure isn't buried on. The pirate half says where it is. This is all Chomp's fault. He bit the map in half and then took the wrong side. That was an accident. He was trying to help. Ow! Okay, so maybe Chomp's having a bit of a chomping problem right now. Well, because of him, Blackbeard's gonna get the jewel, which means my village won't be saved. It's not his fault. Chomp messed this whole thing up. Just admit it. He did not. Zoe, I don't want to fight. Maybe I'll just build myself a raft and sail out of your life forever. Unless you want to come with me and we'll sail into the sunset together. What? Huh? Jim, are you... How should I put this? I guess you're trying to ask if he's crushing on Zoe. Uh, no, Jim's just talking about building a raft to go find Blackbeard. Who we won't find without the map. Sure we will, Jim. You just have to think positively. You're right. With a good attitude, anything is possible. Sure is. You have to forget about the past and focus on the future. So then let's talk about our future. I feel like we have something very special. I feel like we were made for each other. <laughs> made for each other? Jim, you're going overboard with the romantic stuff. Tell that to my heart. Jim, no! Hey, stop! <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure we're going the right way, Captain? You should know better than to question the great Blackbeard. When it comes to finding buried treasure, I can smell it on the wind. That smell's not treasure. <laughs> Uh-oh, we've got visitors. I wonder what they want. From their flag, I'd say they're a rival gang of pirates. Welcome aboard the greatest pirate ship on all the high seas. So when did the Alpha Gang become Alpha Pirates? Since they realized they can buy pirate costumes. At least they aren't making us wear them. Zoe, I remember these guys. They're not real pirates. That's right, Jim. They're traveling undercover in order to try to find Blackbeard. <laughs> Don't listen to her. My name is Whitebeard, but I'm also known as the Notorious Pirate Sea! The Notorious Pirate Sea? Wow, that sounds scary! Oh, I've struck fear in the hearts of men all over the Seven Seas! We're in for a long day. Being a pirate has always been my dream. Yeah, this whole thing was Ed's idea, except for the droids. That brain's in a pirate come out. It's great that you're living your dream, Ed, but we need to track down Blackbeard before he gets the treasure. Don't worry, the ship's radar has already pinpointed his location. What's a radar? It's a machine that shows us where we are on the sea. That's pretty cool, don't you think? So the blue dot is our ship and the red dot is Blackbeard. He's moving pretty fast, but no matter where he goes, we can follow him. This is the most amazing thing I've ever seen! Let's break it open and grab Blackbeard to get the treasure map back! He isn't inside the radar. We didn't shrink his ship into a red dot. Oh, you think you're so smart? <laughs> what? <laughs> you're trying to make me look stupid in front of Zoe! I think you're doing that for yourself. 
Zoe, let's get away from this conflict and go take a walk together. Jim, we talked about this. What, that I'm too much of a romantic? All I want is a kiss. Jim! <laughs> hey, no means no, Jim! <sighs> Zoe, you're so awesome! Don't let the fog bog you down, me hearties. The treasure is close. Captain, the fog is so thick the lookout can't see an inch in front of his face. No one needs to see. I can smell the treasure. That smells copper. He needs a shower. He needs a shower. I fear there's something evil in this fog. What if there are ghosts that make us crash? You're afraid? Ah, how dare you be afraid of anything other than your captain? Sharks bow their heads to me, tidal waves disappear at my feet, and you're afraid of ghosts? Coward. I make ghosts fear the living! Uh, I'm sorry, you're right, I'm only afraid of you! I'm only afraid of you! There's nothing like a calm sail on a peaceful sea. Is it Blackbeard? No, it's the British Navy! I know that boat! It's one of their warships! <laughs> That's their most powerful ship on the sea! Why are they firing at us? We haven't done anything wrong! Max, we're on a pirate ship! We have to tell them it's all pretend! Pretend? <gasps> That's it! If they treat us like pirates, we'll defend ourselves like pirates! I installed cannons just in case! Okay, prepare for battle! You, you got, got it, Whitebeard! White Oh boy, a real pirate war! This is my favorite dream come true! As a commander in the British Navy, I hereby order you to surrender. I act under orders from the Royal Crown that all pirate ships like yours will be destroyed for the good of the Empire. You shall not steal from the King anymore! You don't understand, we're not pirates! We don't even have a parrot! You can't be a real pirate without a parrot! You have one minute of grace. If you have not abandoned your ship by then, I will fire all my cannons! And I will destroy you and your ship! Well, I'm my own parrot! And I'm telling you, Whitebeard rules! <laughs> so you'd better run while you can, Navy boy! This is gonna be bad. You have ten seconds to surrender, or else we will fire and destroy your ship! Wait, we have a citizen of the British Empire on board! Mm. Allow him to speak! My name is Jim Smith. My father and I sailed here on a peaceful mission until Blackbeard attacked our ship and robbed us. And now we're on a mission to track down Blackbeard and to get back what was stolen. Please understand, Captain, this is a good ship and our mission is noble. A proper British citizen should not be aboard a pirate ship of any kind. But since you are fellow countrymen, I shall let you pass. Not so fast, Big Shot. What makes you think I'll let your ship pass? What? You dare challenge a British naval officer? That's right. Now, Ed, light the cannon! Yeah! What? They were gonna let our ship go! Fire in the hole! Ah! Oh. Flags? Fireworks? It's not a real cannon! I got it for my birthday when I was 10 years old. You attack the British Navy with a birthday present? Like the real cannons now! There are none. You mock me? I who attended the Naval Academy and am a British Lord? This hasn't happened since boarding school! Open fire! Retreat immediately! A good plan, Ed. Droids, roll full speed ahead! Throw, 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 throw. on my smooth hands. We just had manicures, too. You cannot escape me. In the name of his majesty, I shall track you down and destroy you. 